What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Maddie. Today's video is going to show you how I do my beach waves. Um, I've had some questions on this when I did my Instagram live the other day and some of you asked how to curl your hair like this. So just filmed a tutorial on it. So if you guys want to know how I got my hair like this, keep watching. All right guys. Okay, so apologies for the um, for, apologies for my dirty room. I really need to clean it. So I have just brushed through my hair. I'm actually going to do it again because if any of you guys have extensions, you will know that your hair gets really tangly really quickly. At least mine does. My natural hair kind of just tangles really easily as it is. So combined with the extension hair, it can get tangled really easily. So gonna brush through my hair and you guys this technique of curling hair is super quick it's probably the fastest way that um, I do curl my hair and so yeah let's just get started I am going to spray my hair with some Batiste dry shampoo if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that this is my OG dry shampoo <laughs> I like to kind of break it off into deep sections like this and really spray the root. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> He's always right near me when I'm doing my hair. I don't go light on the dry shampoo, guys. Oh, bless you, Chippy. I'm just gonna kind of let that soak in while we curl. So this is a couple days old of doing this method. So I've done it a couple days in a row already and I'm gonna show you guys today how I kind of touch it up and curl the whole thing. Okay, so I use the hot tool, one and a quarter inch with the clamp. Chip, what's up dude? Okay, good job. Okay guys, so I like to start at the back and I just take like one by one inch sections and you clamp it, twist, and kind of quickly bring it down. You wanna leave like four inches out at the end and then you kind of let the top out, let the bottom out, and then you pull down at the bottom. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just makes like a perfect loose wave that doesn't look too curly. This is how you get like the effect of still having your length, but having a bend in your hair. Pull out at the bottom. And I've kind of noticed that you guys, you can take bigger sections if you feel like it. You can take smaller sections, whatever is easiest for your hair in particular. Um, I kind of like to switch it up and do some smaller sections, some bigger sections and yeah just kind of do this all the way through so yeah you kind of hold it for a second at the top let out the very top one let out the bottom and then pull down you guys see how that just makes like a nice bend in the hair instead of a like ringlet that's what's going to help you keep your length because it's still going to look super long um, this is also a really good curl to do if you have shorter hair. I recently just cut my extensions a few inches and um, this curl has made me feel like I didn't cut too much off because, you know, us women, we have phobia of doing that. I guess I should speak for myself. I have phobia of cutting my hair off, but it feels so good to do it sometimes, so sometimes. Okay, once I get to the front sections, you guys will be able to see a little bit better. But yeah, this is really it. So start at the top, twist it up. Remember, bleh, remember to leave four inches out at the bottom, as you can see right there. And then, and it's important when you are doing this type of curl at the very bottom to honestly pull it super straight. 
that's what's gonna keep the length. I know I've said that a million times, but you know when you're normally curling your hair and you just kind of let the curl out normally? This way, you are lengthening the hair and kind of training it to do what you want it to do. Chip, pull down. He's doing so indecisive right now, what he wants to do. Guys, if you do have extensions in, you'll notice that your hair probably curls a lot quicker than the extension hair. I know I've said this before, but um, it's true. So I notice, like you'll get, you guys will see once I get to my top layer that's all my hair, how I hold it for even less time and um, make it even a little bit less curly. Just give it a slight wave. So this piece is mostly my hair. So see that guys? See how it's like a bend instead of a ringlet? So this is when I seriously, as soon as I get it down, I like as soon as I get the whole thing curled, I immediately let it go. So you don't even really hold these ones for longer than like one second. One and drag it down. <laughs> Okay, so when I get to my very front pieces, I like to kind of over train my hair to um, go forward. So I just carefully take my curling iron and kind of apply the heat right to the front. So see how that just like helps your part kind of realize where you want it to be? And just like that. Okay, so then I take the section right behind my front section. And it's really important with these ones, guys, not to hold it very long at all and to really pull it down and towards your face. And then kind of let that one sit for a little while while you do the next one. So again, I'm just going to run over this piece and kind of drag it forward and down. And then hold it for a second. Okay. All right, so as you guys can see, like the whole bottom, like five or six inches of the hair is um, essentially, essentially straight, but it just has a nice bend and wave to it. Okay, on to the next side. So you're gonna do the exact same on the other side. Grab it at the root, pull down and pull out at the bottom. To give me peace. I'm not asking for a miracle. Just you and me. if you guys are anything like me you <laughs> when you sleep on your hair you always have like little pieces that curl or crimp in a weird way so sometimes I like to take my curling iron and just kind of use it as a straightener just around my face to like straighten out pieces that look raggedy Okay guys, same with this front piece on this side. We're gonna pull it forward and down and just hold it for literally a second. Okay. Sometimes I like to take this again in like a straightener and kind of blend in anything that looks slightly out of place or kind of just not like straight enough or whatever. Okay. So this is the most important part and that is to run either your fingers or a brush 
over what you just did. And make sure it's all blended nicely. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. It's just effortless and gives you a slight bend, but like I said, you still get to keep your length. So this is what I like to do for beachy waves. I am also going to spray some Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. And I like to get this all up in my roots and a little bit down through the waves. And this just gives your hair a nice texture and kind of helps hold the waves in place for your day. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video. Comment below on video ideas for what you guys are wanting to see me do next. And thanks again for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you back for the next video. Bye.